Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the flight tying tutorial. Today I'm going to be tying this little nymph. It's a little uh, peacock paragon nymph. Um, it's a Euro competition uh, style nymph. Um, I just started recently tying these over the last year and I really just started fishing them uh, this summer. Um, I fish them a lot in uh, really deep, fast moving water um, like riffles and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend uh, fishing these in like slower uh, moving pools and stuff like that because they're just not going to be as effective. Uh, you can go to a different fly and uh, produce a lot more fish. Um, these are made uh, pretty much just for fast moving water. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much uh, really, really slim. Uh, has not a lot of fibers hanging off it or anything like that. Um, it's a really sleek, um, heavy fly that gets down and it cuts through water really, really, um, really well. Um, so I'm going to get a uh, hook in the vise and uh, we'll get going with the tutorial. So the hook I have in the vise right now is a Partridge Patriot Barbless. This is a Czech Nymph number 14. And the bead I have on there, I like to use tungsten for my Euro Nymph so they go down a lot faster. And the one I have on here is just a tungsten bead. This is a black nickel. Diameter is 1 8th. And uh, I like to uh, oversize my bead a little bit um, just to uh, make it a little bit heavier so it can go down faster. Uh, depending on what hook you use for this fly, you may have to uh, pinch the barb so the hook or the uh, bead, sorry, can go around the bend um, because it's a pretty tight bend, and uh, sometimes it's it's a little of a pain to get that bead around. So just a heads up, and I also have about four or five um, wraps of lead-free wire, and it's in 0 0.015. We're going to be using two two threads here. First one's going to be. For our underbody, it's going to be a UTC 70 denier in black, and for the hotspot collar, it's going to be UTC 70 denier in fluorescent orange. So I'm just going to start my thread right behind this lead here, make sure it's pushed up into the back of the bead. And then re the main reason why I like putting lead on my flies is, um, well, it adds a little bit of weight, as well as it keeps this bead centered on the hook shank. So when I come to do my collar, it's not tilted and uh, off balance. It's uh, it's in place and it's uh, ready to go. So I like to tie these pretty uh, pr as slim as possible. So I'm just going to take a couple wraps down the shank to where the hook um, barb would be on a regular hook. Um, the first material we're tying in is our tail section, and for my tail. On all my Euro Nymphs, I use Coq de Leon. These are in a medium size. Just I like the medium just because it's easier to uh, to uh, tie in. So I got some fat fingers. So I'm just going to grab about three to four, sometimes five, and uh, fibers, and I'm just going to pull them down perpendicular to the uh, the stem here. Then I'm just going to pull them straight off, transfer that into my other hand, and make a tail here. And since this is a, uh, a mayfly type of a nymph, I like to keep the, uh, the tails a little bit longer. Um, they are a little bit longer on mayflies. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cord my thread up a bit and if you use UTC if you turn it counterclockwise it actually cords it up. I'm going to take one wrap underneath that tail. And what that's going to do is it's going to help uh, keep these fibers propped up. So now I'm just going to bring my thread back up to my original tie-in. Now we can cut out our tail fibers there. Now for the body part, um, this is my go-to. It's a crystal flash, and this is in a peacock color. I like two main uh, two main colors. It's this one and um, crystal flash in a root beer color. I really like that color too. So, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab three strands here. It's like so. Then I'm just going to cut them down to where the zip tie is. I'm going to keep these relatively straight. Tie them on the side of the hook 
facing me. We're just going to bring our thread wraps down. Make kind of a smooth body there. Now I'm just going to grab that crystal flash, start making some nice turns up the body. Once you get to the back of the bead, just tie that off. Some nice wraps. You can cut out that crystal flash and just put it aside. Grab your whip finish tool and just do a four or five turn whip finish there. Make sure that it's not seated down in there. And now you're done with the 70 denier. Now we're going to grab, or the black 70 denier. We're going to grab our orange thread now. Just tie that in. And all we're going to do now is just make a little collar. And the easiest way I find to make collars is um, you almost kind of want to pull this a little bit forward and just let it rest on the back of the bead. And uh, you'll get a nice little uh, dam. So I'm just going to throw a four or five turn whip finish in there like so. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. Cut that out. And now for the uh, UV part of it, I'm just going to be using some Loon Outdoors UV Clear Fly Finish. Um, this is a pretty big, uh, you definitely want to put this on if you're going to be fishing these. Um, mainly because they're going to be down by a lot of rocks and um, if you get one fish that crystal flash is just going to uh, rip apart so it's definitely a good idea to think about um, buying some if you don't already tie with it um, it's definitely worth the money and it changes your uh, your whole fly tying experience so I'm just going to put a little bit on top right there zap that with the light now I'm just going to put a little dab on the side here and this is going to be for the side and the bottom part so I'm just going to take my box in here and just move that to the bottom make sure that whole body's covered there hit that with the light I'm just going to put a little bit more on the top just to smooth that whole top out. Uh, you can put a uh, like a wing case pad on here, just like a black. I see a lot of people use um, black ones and all, they, all you use is just a black nail polish and you would just put that on before the UV. But uh, I personally don't like putting it. I just uh, fish it like this and uh, I've had good success with it, so. So there you have it. Nice little nymph um, for fast, fast water. Um, I'm gonna be start tying some more uh, Euro style nymphs. So uh, yeah, hope you liked today's video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.